Hi, Shannon here from House Improvements, and today we're going to shoot a video on removing stipple ceiling, the old popcorn style ceiling. Uh, pretty simple job, a little messy, uh, needs some basic tools to do it. Um, we'll go through the tools in a few minutes, but uh, yeah, we basically have about a, I don't know, 10 by 10 room here. So we're going to show you the tools that we need to do it, and uh, the process of going through it. Okay, so as I had mentioned, the tools we need to do this job is very, very simple. You probably got them right in your garage. Most of them are, uh, could borrow them from the neighbor or whatever. Uh, one of the first things you want to do is protect the floor that you're, or the room you're working in. Uh, sometimes all I do is I will take a, this is a drywall tray, and this is the drywall knife you're going to use to scrape the ceiling. I'll just go along and, and scrape it right in and catch 90% of it in this tray, and I'll have a garbage can handy somewhere to dump it. But in, in the case of what we're doing today, what we've actually done is just bought some uh, inexpensive utility type uh, plastic sheeting and we've covered the whole carpeted area with this sheeting. And uh, so we're just going to simply scrape the ceiling right to the floor and then we'll just fold up the, the plastic and, and uh, throw it away. Um, okay, so we talked about the sheeting, the drywall tray, the knife I'll, I touched base on but basically all it is is a six inch drywall knife. and. Uh, we just simply run it along the ceiling to, to scrape off the, uh, the popcorn stipple. Um, the, the stipple itself, if it hasn't ever been painted before, then you're not going to have any trouble at all. If it's been painted, uh, you may want to second guess whether you want to take this job on because uh, the paint basically seals it up and it's really hard to, to scrape off. Um, one of the tricks we do use is we'll use uh, some type of a water sprayer. In this case, we've got like a pump-held sprayer that you uh, you know you could use in your garden with chemical in it. Uh, we just keep it separate uh, just for water spraying applications. So you simply add water, you uh, pump the handle here, which pressurizes the canister. It comes with a hose and a wand, and you'll just simply go along and, and spray the ceiling. And once you get a, enough water on there, it doesn't take much. And once you get enough that you can kind of hear it dripping, hitting the floor the odd little bit, you know, you're good. Go up, give it a scrape once it's maybe had a couple minutes to soak in. If it's not coming off real well, you can give it another quick shot with the sprayer just to see, but you don't want to completely saturate it either. Uh, you're just going to have a mess and you could cause other damage, but uh, um, once we actually get into showing you how to do this, you'll see exactly the, the steps involved. I'm just trying to show you what we need. Uh, so we've got the sprayer, we have the plastic and everything. Uh, when you're done, you're going to want to be able to sand it, uh, depending what you're doing. You know, you may be just wanting to paint it and leave it flat. So you're going to want to sand any little nicks and gouges out. Uh, you may be retexturing it. So you know, even then, you're probably going to want to sand a little bit. So you you know, you can use a hand sander, pole sander. You know, typical drywall tools is really what you need for that. Um, and of course, you're generally going to need some type of a stool or a ladder to stand on. Uh, a good idea, a lot of these uh, older stipples can have asbestos in them, so it's a good idea to be wearing a mask as well, and even safety goggles if you really go into town, it might get a little, little messy. But uh, throw the mask on for sure, uh, you're, you're definitely going to be messy. So, uh, you know, shut off your furnace, your air conditioner, so it's not sucking that dust through your whole house, and uh, uh, making a mess of everything else. So we've taken down the light shade in this room, just trying to get as many things out of the way as we can. Uh, we've polyed the floor off, and uh, I'm just going to reset here and uh, go through the actual process. Okay, so we're going to start out by simply spraying about a four foot by four foot area, just to get us started. So I'm just applying it, I don't know if you can hear on the, on the camera or not, that uh, we're getting a few drips hitting the floor. I'm giving it a pretty liberal soak. Be careful around your electrical lighting and stuff so you don't electrocute yourself. Okay, so we got that soaked down pretty good. And then I'm going to just grab my ladder and go up there and see what it feels like. Okay, so it's had a couple minutes just to soak in. And you just want to have your knife on a little bit of an angle. I don't know, can you see there? You don't want it too steep or you're going to be gouging into the drywall and making a mess, but you don't want it too flat or you're not going to get everything off. So, you know, I don't know what that is, 30 degree angle, something like that. Just kind of get yourself worked in there underneath. You can see it really doesn't take a lot of effort. There's not a lot of dust because we have sprayed it down, 
Uh, I do have a mask on my hat, but I'm not wearing it right now, but uh, it's just hard to talk to through. So I'm going to do a little bit of an area here just so you can see what you're going to find underneath. So you can see that's pretty quick, like it really doesn't take a lot of time. It's actually doing quite a nice job. Um, now once you have an area like that done, or when the room's done I should say, what, we, what you do is once this has had a chance to dry and you're done the room, it just needs a, a little bit of a sand just to kind of get some of the excess dust off of there. Smooth it out again, you know, these are all, I don't know if you can see these spots in the lens, but uh, they're all spots that were a screw before and they've been mudded over. Uh, we don't have a joint right here, but uh, at some point I'll get to one and we'll show you what, what it all looks like. But really that's all you need to do. Um, when you get up to the edge of the room, just obviously just butt right into the wall. If you find that it's a little tougher, like once you get into the spots where there is drywall mud on a joint or whatever, you may want to just give it another quick little spray. And that'll just give it a little extra moisture to soften it up. But you can see how we went along this wall. Got the majority off, just kind of come up along the wall as well. Pulling that corner out. Once you do a little bit of sanding there, you're going to be good. Um, there's really not a whole lot more to that. Now, I can show you what I would usually do if I'm holding the tray. I'll grab it. So if I was doing this with my tray, I'm just simply moving the tray along with it and catching a lot of it right in the tray. And then, you know, I'll have a garbage so I don't have to go up and down the ladder. I'll just have it within reach so that I'm not having to uh, jump up and down all the time. Now I'm getting out of my sprayed area here. You can see it's getting a lot harder to scrape off. We're back here where it's soft, you know, it's just like butter once you get going on it. So uh, the water definitely does help. And it also settles that dust. You don't get as much dust floating around, which is better for your lungs. But you should have the mask on when you're doing the whole thing. Okay, so that's uh, really basic stuff, especially when it's not painted. Like I said before, uh, if, if your stipple happens to have been painted over, it is a heck of a job, so you might want to rethink whether you really want to do it. Um, but yeah, this was simple. Um, I have seen, there's the odd gizmo out there for doing this. Uh, there's uh, a frame and bag system that comes with a scraper, and basically what it is is a scraper with a frame hanging off it that you can put like a shopping bag on to catch all your stuff, you know, pop your bag off, throw it away. I don't know that that's really necessary when, if you own one of these, you can basically do it without uh, spending any extra money for that. Uh, the same thing, we had the big pump sprayer, garden type sprayer to do this. Uh, you could just use a little hand squirrel bottle like for, you know, your wife does her hair with it or something, steal it off the dresser and, and use it. Uh, you know, you don't have to go out and spend a bunch of money on a big sprayer like that. Um, really, there's, like I said, uh, the tools you need for this, you probably already own. So, uh, it's just a matter of the little bit of mess and cleanup when you're done. So, uh, give it a try. See what you think. Uh, if you have any questions or maybe I missed something or, or something isn't clear, you can always go to the forum on our website at houseimprovements.com. And uh, the forum's totally free. You can come there, ask any question you want about uh, anything renovation uh, 
related. So I will try to get back to you as soon as I can and uh, give you the response that will hopefully help you. So once again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.